developments tonight as a woman goes public with her own sexual harassment accusations against WSU's Jason Gesser. Tonight, a former WSU student athlete has come forward with new alleg uh, accusations against Gesser, and she's sharing her story with KXOY 4 News. She filed a formal complaint with the university yesterday, saying Gesser, the assistant director for the Cougar Athletic Fund, groped her and repeatedly tried to kiss her without her consent in 2015. KXOY 4's Taylor Graham working for you tonight. Taylor, you sat down with this woman today. What made her come forward now? Nadine, when Alyssa Wold Badeau saw the reports about the allegations against Gesser on Friday, she thought they described what she says happened to her, but the dates didn't match up. She then realized she said someone else was telling a similar story. That's when she decided to go public. <laughs> It's been an emotional 24 hours and an exhausting three years for Alyssa Wold Badeau. It's been hell, but it's been a silent hell. She broke that silence on Monday when she filed a formal complaint with WSU, accusing Jason Gesser of sexual harassment in 2015. The reason I'm sharing now is because it has been brought to my attention that this is not the first time. And I am not the only one. She was a nanny for Gesser and his family from 2013 to 2015. And she says he never gave her a reason not to trust him until one night in June 2015, when she says Gesser groped her and repeatedly tried to kiss her without her consent. I had to put my hand over my mouth like this. So that he couldn't kiss my lips. He began kissing my hand. A memory she says she suppressed for three years came bubbling to the surface Friday when she read reports of a number of complaints about Gesser dating back to 2014. Now she's taking a stand, telling her story she says is important and therapeutic. I think for the first time I'm starting to feel healing coming. She hopes that healing extends to the man she accuses of harming her. I would tell him that I'm praying for him. Tonight at 6, you'll hear from WSU Athletic Director Pat Chun, who sat down with our Derek Dice today to respond to the accusations against Gesser. I'll have more from my conversation with Will Badeau, including why she stayed silent when she says the attack first happened. We've reached out to Gesser multiple times today for a comment, and I've not heard back from him. In studio tonight, Taylor Graham, KXLY4 News.